If you've seen a decrease in the accuracy of your Facebook ad tracking, or if you are looking to learn how to use the conversions API connected with Go High Level CRM to improve the accuracy of your conversions, this is the video for you. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to set up the conversions API and how to connect it with Go High Level CRM to work around the changes caused by iOS 14 and the pixel tracking accuracy. This video is a must-watch for anyone who's running Facebook ads or using the Go High Level CRM. Make sure you stay till the end of this video so I can share some additional tips and tools about Facebook ad tracking after this is installed and make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video or comment if you have any questions and I'll make sure to respond. Let's go ahead and dive in and walk through this step by step. The first thing we're going to do is type in business.facebook.com into the URL bar to go to Facebook Business Manager. The first place that we want to go is to the Pixels tab. The Pixels tab will allow you to confirm which pixel you're actually trying to set this up for and make sure that there is a green dot so that you can be sure that that pixel is fully active. You will want to have your domain verified and your aggregated events management tab fully set up before completing this step. So if you've not already done that, stop watching this video, hop out to my Facebook ads playlist and check out that step-by-step -step tutorial and then circle back to this specific video. If you have already done those steps, the next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead, log into your Go High Level platform and also hop over to the event manager. You can find that by clicking on the all tools button, navigating to events manager, or if you're in business settings, you can do that by going to your pixel and then clicking on open in events manager at that top right hand side. Now that we are in events manager, we're going to again, make sure that that correct pixel is selected and we are going to click on this add events drop down. We want to select using the conversions API. We'll see a dialog box and we're simply going to walk through it and click setup. We'll also be using the install code manually option. And when we click there, we're going to see another screen with a set of steps on the left hand side. We're going to click continue. Now that we're on this screen, you should see every event that you have set up in your aggregated events management on this screen. You want to check off all of them. You may not have to set up all of these in Go High Level, but for the safe side, I would go ahead and set this up properly in the conversions API for all of your events, just in case. We're now going to click continue. And then you're going to see a list of those same events that you checked off on this left hand side. The first one is add to cart. We are going to go ahead and check off a couple of things under event detail parameters and also under customer information parameters. We will select all of these options on every single event. So once I complete this on the first one, I would then go down and complete it on the second, third, fourth, and so on. The first thing that you want to check is make sure that that event source URL is selected. Some of these may be auto selected on your screen and some of them may not be. So you either confirm they're already checked off or you're going to check them off yourself. So I'm going to click on the client IP address, the click ID, browser ID, external ID, and everything else looks good. So when you feel confident that everything that you need checked off has been checked off and each event has been selected, we are then going to hit continue. I can then see an overview of everything I just set up. Give that a look, make sure that it looks good, and then we'll click confirm setup. Once we hit the screen, we are going to click open implementation guide. Do not click finish or you will be taken out of that screen. Now that we're here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on generate access token. 
will simply click on this. And I would encourage you to paste this in a document where your pixel ID, your pixel code, your standard event code, and any of your other tech codes are located. It's a really great resource to have somewhere that you can access that very easily. And then we are going to hop over to high level. Now what we're going to do is go to the workflows tab in high level. This is going to be the icon on the left hand screen that you'll see. And I am now on this screen that you see here. We will click on create workflow. There are only four different starting trigger steps that you can utilize with the conversions API in high level workflows. That will be form submitted, survey submitted, purchase, and appointment scheduled. So any events that are associated with those steps in high level, you can set up the conversions API, which is then going to send that information back to Facebook so that your dashboard is accurate in terms of how many conversions each ad, ad set, or campaign is produced. I'm going to click on from scratch and create new workflow. I'm going to click on add new workflow trigger, and I'm simply going to select the most appropriate trigger for the first workflow. So I'm going to use the schedule conversion, and this is going to be based on appointments. If there is a specific calendar that you would like to select, you can select that here, but I am just going to hit save. Then my first action, I'm going to scroll down until I see Facebook conversions API. Once I hit this screen, I need to paste that access token that I've just copied. I also need to hop over to my business manager and I'm going to click on my pixel ID, go back into high level and paste that here. Now I get to select what event I'm tracking. So this is for the schedule event. So I'm going to select schedule. If there is a value of somebody taking this action in terms of dollar amount, you can put that in here and your currency if it is not US dollars. Finally, we've got a test code option. So if you would like to utilize this test code, you can go into your events management tab, back into the implementation guide, and then we've got this test your events option. I can click on launch test events And it, it is then going to give me this test code. I'm going to click on that. And if I would like to test this, I'm going to paste that right here. Then we would hit save. After you've done this, you're going to make sure that you publish and click save. We also want to rename this. So this will be appointment scheduled conversions API. That is the entire workflow that we are going to set up. If you are using those test events, it is going to show you that the test event has gone through after you schedule that appointment on the calendar that you've selected for that workflow. I then would simply repeat that exact same process for every single type of conversion that I want to create. So if someone opts into one of your forms created in high level, that would be form submitted option. So this would be a lead. It could be a complete registration, et cetera. So whatever is the best fit for you, that is what you want to apply and make sure that you are using the same types of events that you're tracking or were tracking previously, just using the Facebook pixel code and your standard event code. Using the conversions API means that you do not have to have the standard event code or use that event setup tool on those pages that you were previously tracking. This is going to be the primary way that your Facebook pixel is tracking what happens due to the iOS 14 changes. Most people between 80 and 90% have opted out of tracking, meaning that that standard event code is really only going to pick up between 10 and 20% of conversions anyway. So this is a much more reliable way to do it. However, if you do not have some of your forms, surveys, purchase events set up in high level, this is a really good reason to do that. 
But if you don't currently have them set up in high level, you're simply not going to be able to use the conversions API for some of those events. I hope this has been helpful. And if you guys have any other questions on how to use the Go High Level CRM platform, check out my playlist on those tutorials. If you have any more questions on the Facebook pixel or the conversions API, you can drop them in the comments or find my Facebook ads training playlist and check out more about those topics there. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and I can't wait to see you back on the next video.